Hello guys, my name is Bob. Welcome to the Excel Math channel and today I'm going to uh, talk about solving square root of a six digit number. Alright, so basically, you know, we have um, the whole idea of this square root of this six digit number. Let's say you do not have any calculator and then you wish to calculate, you know, the square root of six digit number. So what is the steps in which to solve this kind of problems oh well i'm going to teach you a very simple ways all right and uh, let's say for example if you're given this example uh four nine six two zero seven and you want to find the square root of it so the first thing you have to do is to split this six digit number into three pairs of two digit numbers so in this case that will be 49 62 and 07 and then the next thing you'll we'll look at is actually look at this first pair of two digit numbers and you need to you know you need to find a particular uh, digit all right such that when you square all right when you square this digit it's smaller than or smaller than or equals to 49 all right so this is uh, the whole idea so we know that uh, if we were to square 7 uh, this digit itself 7 okay we will you know we will get the whole value here which is smaller or equals to 49, but in this case, it's actually 49. All right, so we put this single digit here, 7, and then we uh, we calculate what is the square of this digit number. So in this case, it's 49. So we have 49, and then here we go. This is sort of like 0, all right? So 0, okay? Okay, so the next thing that you have to do is to put a parenthesis of this. So this will actually tell us, all right, uh, what is the you know digit to actually focus on? All right, so in this case, what you have to do, well, what it should be put down here is you should times two to seven. So in this case, this will be two times seven. This uh, digit is fourteen, and then a particular digit that's down here. All right, so bring down the next pair. All right, so next thing you'll do is to bring down this next pair, and here is the very complex part. All right, so you will need to fill up this particular digit down here, okay, such that this digit times this digit. All right, so let me just uh, do a marking down here. So you need to fill up this particular digit down here, and this digit itself must be the same as this digit they put down here. Okay, so if I were to write it down here, we have one for something times something, and this digit, okay, must be the same. And this must be smaller or equals to 62, all right? Because this is uh, 62 in this case, all right? So we know that uh, if we were to put zero down here, okay? I mean, the only way is to put this zero digit down here. Why? Because 140 times zero, that is smaller or equals to 62. So you know that this is actually zero, all right? So this digit down here, okay? The down here itself is actually zero, all right? So this is zero, all right? And then so we know that this is zero, all right? So this will be 62, all right? Okay, so clear? Okay, the next step is pretty much the same step as before, all right? So what we need to do is to multiply, all right? Multiply uh, 70, in this case now, it's, instead of seven, which is last time, now you got two digit. So you multiply 70 times two, and that will give you the first three digit of this uh, number down here. All right, so we got one four zero and this particular digit so now we know that okay um, this particular digit and this particular digit down here okay when you multiply okay this whole number times this digit uh, is smaller than okay I got to bring this down six zero two seven all right so which means that if I were to take one thousand four hundred dash times dash it's smaller or equals to 6207. And then you know that this digit and this digit must be the same, all right? So what would be the ideal digit down here? Well, it's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the smallest digit uh, would probably be, all right, four, all right? Why? Because you get four down here, all right? So you get four down here. So this is smaller or equals to 6007. So in this case, this, whole thing is actually 5616, right, if you were to press the calculator. So here itself will be the digit 4, here itself will be the digit 4 itself. So this 6207 minus 5616, okay, and that will give you um, 
591. So we won't go on to the decimal points, all right? For this case, we know that this uh, square root itself has a decimal point. It's not a perfect square, all right? It's not a perfect square. So the idea of this is that we we probably can approximate the square root of 496207, which is in this case about 704. Uh, very interesting, right? I'm really sure that that's... Um, it's a very, very interesting kind of uh, example, all right? So let us move on, all right, to the next six-digit number to reinforce the um, our understanding, all right, of how to actually square root the six-digit number without using a calculator. All right, we are going to try another six-digit number and see if we can actually get, you know, the, the estimated value, okay, of this uh, square root okay of 873924 so same thing the first step what you need to do is to you know split uh this six digit number into three pairs of two digit numbers so which is in this case 87 39 and 24 all right and then we do uh, a square root all right first okay so first thing first we focus on uh, this first two digit of the number itself so we know that uh a digit square must be smaller or equals to 87 which is in this case this will this digit will fuse up this digit down here so in this case we know that if i were to have a nine square okay that's that's the the the, the digit itself okay it's smaller or equals to 87 so this is nine and then this is 81 so that will brings you to get six all right okay yeah and uh we know we know that this is the first step all right so the next step you do is to bring down 39 all right so let's bring down this thir this pair 39 and we have a parenthesis down here all right so in this parenthesis down here we will take 9 okay times by 2 which which will forms the first two digit of the number itself and a blank all right uh, 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 and a, a digit to fill in so we know that this digit okay let, let me just uh, capture down here so this digit down here and this digit that we're going to include in must be the same all right, so if you have to write down here, 1, 8, dash, okay, times dash must be smaller than or equals to three, 6, 3, 9. So in, which is in this case, this digit and this digit must be the same. So in, in that, so what we're going to do is to find what is the digit itself. And uh, we know that this will be 3, all right? So let me just change the, the color. So this will be 3 and this will be 3. Okay, so we have, you know, 183 times 3, <laughs> that will give us 549 down here, so we have 549, alright, so this is 3, and then this is 3, so we know that this is the answer, so 6, we have to take 639 minus 549, so that will give you 90, alright, 90, and hence, uh, this is 24, alright okay uh, <laughs> all right so we have uh, same thing we bring down the 24 which is the last two pairs of the digit and we will look at this uh now instead of nine we have 93 so we we'll take 93 times two to form the first three digit of this value down here so we know yet again that next step is this digit and this digit must be the same all right uh so we know that this is about 100 1860 something times um something which is smaller or equals to nine zero two four okay yeah and then we will need to find what is the digit which makes up you know you know if this times this that would be yeah, reason smaller or equals to nine thousand and twenty four right so so what do we do is that we multiply the digit and we realize that four is actually the the answer down here because uh we have 1,864 times 4, which just gives you 7,456. 7, uh, but if you were to times 5, this will be this whole value will be greater than 9,024, which is what we do not want. All right, so we know that this is a digit 4, and we have roughly an idea of, okay, uh, what is the value down here, the square root, you know, of 873,924, that will give you about approximately 934. So, uh, to be honest, you do not need to actually, you know, go through the decimal point, even though you can actually do it down here. If you, yeah, so the idea of this, uh, the whole video is just basically to find out the estimated, you know, uh, value of square root of a six digit number. And I do hope that you guys actually, you know, be, you know understand the whole process, how to go about doing it. All right. 
um that's it for today i'm bob thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video all right